So Janky, tell me about um, the skills you were practicing this morning in your, in your first uh, practical session. So in the morning practical, we were just looking to see if we could detect any abnormal eye movement. So when the cover was put or placed onto the eye, we were just seeing if the eye moves in or out. And then when we use prisms, we are just using those to neutralise any movements that we did find. If people do have these abnormal eye movements, it can cause double vision in their day-to-day -day life. So a prism in their glasses would get rid of this and make vision slightly more comfortable. Okay. Tell me about what you were doing in the in the clinical sessions this afternoon. So I was looking at the front of the patient's eye and when we look at the front of the patient's eye we look at the lids and lashes first to make sure everything's okay there. Then we look into the cornea just to see that it's intact, there's no abrasions or anything to worry about. Then we go into look into the iris to see that that's all okay, no pigment, no new vessel growth. Then we look into the lens to see that there's no opacities, no sign of a cataract make sure everything's clear. And we do this in every site test. And what do you enjoy about working in the new eye clinic building? Um, the building is nice and big, spacious. We have all the up-to-date equipment which is nice to work in. Um, there's always someone on hand to help so if you're stuck or have a query you never have to worry. A supervisor is always there to help and that's reassuring when you are doing a site test by yourself. So what are your plans after you graduate? So after I graduate, I'm doing my pre-reg year, which is a training year with spec savers. We're still being examined and supervised in that year. And once I finish my exams at the end of that year, I'll be qualified and working as an optometrist with spec savers. So what's the, what's the key thing you'll take out of uh, the optometry course in the clinic? Every day in the clinic's different, every patient's different. So you have to be able to apply the skills that you've learned and the practice you've been given in all three years in a clinical situation. And that's something that's very important, being able to be independent and use the skills that you've learned when faced with a real life situation. So tell us about the, the supervision you get here. Yeah, a lot of one-to-one -one supervision here so there's always someone on hand to help us and the ratio of supervisors to students is very low and that one-to-one -one care we do get does enable us to be more confident and prepare us for life once we leave not just for the exams while we're here. Um, the advice I'd give to a first year student is to always keep on top of your work. You may think first year doesn't count and you can take it easy but in an optometry course every year counts and if you keep on top right from the start you'll be the best you can in your third year. The lecturers here are always ready to help. You can just send them an email and you get a quick response to organise a meeting to go over anything you're stuck on. So you never need to feel like you're on your own and you're drowning in work. There's always someone there to help. What is the key skill you would say an optometrist needs to work to be to be a good optometrist? Um, you need to have good people skills because you're going to be faced with different people, some quiet, some loud, some reserved, some nervous, some anxious. If you can apply your personality depending on the person you're faced with, um, you'll always be fine.